Hi, digital transformation is a leading force in business today. In some cases, this is driven by the so-called digital native organizations wreaking havoc on older companies in an industry. In some cases, those older companies are seizing the opportunity before the change is forced upon them. Whether it's based upon employing a shrewd offense or cautious defense, this change will impact all companies sooner or later. But what is digital really? Who should own it within the enterprise? What processes and technologies are necessary to bring it to life? I am Sonu Dev Joshi, COO at Mascot and Hedge, a strategic advisory organization at the intersection of business and technology disciplines. We have helped guide executives to answer these questions in order to chart a course to digital and ultimately business success. In this course, we will cover the relevant definitions of digital, including the differences between digitization, digitalization and digital transformation. We will define the stages of digital maturity so that you can identify where you stand today and chart the course to greater levels of digital maturity. We will identify new competitors that you need to be aware of beyond the traditional competitive set. Lastly, we'll talk about how to develop strategic plans in such an environment. The pace of change is getting faster. Also, customers are getting more fickle, which requires rethinking the user experience. Digital transformation may seem like a new buzzword for an old topic. Together, I look forward to demystifying the term by identifying ways in which your company can chart a path to becoming a leader in the digital world. With all of this in mind, let's get started. Digital transformation requires four things. First, it's necessary to digitize your culture. This requires hiring for and encouraging learning agility among your employees. New technologies and techniques emerge much faster than in the past. The technology that one is comfortable with today may be obsolete tomorrow. Will your employees be willing to retrain on the modern technologies and techniques? Second, it's necessary to use modern solutions such as cloud and mobile enabled technology rather than mainframe technology of the past. This internal component of digital transformation is often an afterthought. But not taking these first steps can mean that you will be a victim of your own success, unable to reap the rewards that higher demands might bring. Third, it's necessary to develop or hone an edge-based innovative function. This entails developing or recasting an existing research and development arm. Seeking new business opportunities that exploit digital technologies at the edge of current product or service offerings or perhaps in adjacent spaces to the current offerings. It's important to give this team the liberty to explore opportunities that might cannibalize the existing business as well. And fourth, the rest of the business should think further about how digital opportunities can transform the core business. An eye toward better customer experience through digital channels should be paramount as customers expect easier, intuitive, and compelling digital experiences when they become more sophisticated. They expect that you will have anticipated their desired journey through your offering. The digital revolution that's upon us is an enormous threat to a lot of businesses, but it can also be a tremendous opportunity for those who leverage the new ways of operating. The term digital is used in many ways these days, but what does it really mean? There are a variety of terms related to this that are noted, such as digitization, digitalization, 
digital transformation. Are these one and the same thing? Let me offer some definitions as well as a couple of examples of each. Digitization is the conversion of analog or physical information to a digital format. Think of it as converting atoms to bits, creating digital opportunities in the process. Think of paper instruction manuals. Converting those from physical paper to a digital format represents digitization. Another example is from traditional print media. The Hindustan Times or India Today is distributing digitized or digital content through digital channels, its website and through its app rather than physical channels, that is the printed newspaper. These are each examples of digitization. Digitalization is the use of digital technologies and digitally enabled approaches to enable or improve business models and processes. Think of this as the process of exploiting digital opportunities. For example, using smart glasses to provide mechanics with the line of sight digital instructions can improve efficiency and reduce errors. The expanded offering would eventually include video, podcast, virtual reality and more. It also entails leveraging digital data and analytics to increase usability and drive subscriptions. This represents the digitalization activities that the media company has undertaken. Digital transformation is the coordinated digitalization change efforts at scale diffused through the operating model and all aspects of the business including people, processes, technologies and metrics. The goal of this is to bring meaningful outcomes to the organization. Integration of various digitalization initiatives such as augmented reality, guided instructions, 3D printed tools that have Internet of Things enable sensors connected with them can result in the fundamental transformation of the manufacturing processes. This is an example of digital transformation. As you can see, there is a logical sequence from digitization to digitalization to digital transformation. It's important to understand the differences, communicate them effectively and chart the progress you and your organization are making. Words matter and it's important that you as a leader who will drive should at least be involved in digital transformation in your organization and champion the use of right terms. This will help ensure that everyone is on the right page and that you can truly reap the rewards of digital Interested in the full course? Enroll today. The link is given below. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.